Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? This is the Juice Man 999 here bringing you some saboteur on Ghost Recon Future Soldier because I feel like it. No. Uh, in this game, I kind of took a different approach to how I usually play. I use a lot more of a running gun type of play style rather than my conventional like I don't know organized game play that I usually give out uh, and I also used a stun gun a lot and I uh, got my Three data hacks, which was a personal challenge for me, uh, sent to me by a friend, and I completed it. And so, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys something a little tadly different than my usual gameplays. Uh, so disappointing there. I was ready to get stunned there. And basically, this is how I basically played the, this game session: was very fast, very loose, and lots of stuns. I had a game where I went 10 and 24, no joke, 10 and 24, and I still led our team in experience points because I had so many stuns and data hacks that game. But, uh, I, uh, you know, didn't think you'd want to see me dying a lot or anything. So, yeah. Hope that's all good and whatnot. So, yeah, you can see here, still kind of getting used to, see I, yeah, uh, this game isn't even that special from a KD, uh, point of view anyways, so, but like I say, I'm just trying to get something out there for you guys, ah, uh, something a little different, and whatnot, so, the bomb now. hope you all enjoy this, um, I had this guy on our team. He had a mic, and uh, he was like, he was like, yeah, everyone, we need a data hack and whatnot. And I'm like, yeah, man, that's what I'm to do. <laughs> and he's like, well, we kind of coordinated with him and whatnot. And so I get the revive there and whatnot. So yeah, a lot of the uh, fighting here takes right around these uh, cabins and whatnot. Uh, it just gets very uh, very stalemate and whatnot. But uh, I, uh, I'm trying to flank them and whatnot. Just trying to mix it up a little bit. And uh, yeah. Just, you know, having fun with this game still. So I know I'm going to keep on playing it. As long as I'm having fun, you know, I'm going to keep on playing it. And, uh, yeah, whatever. I like how, uh, or, no, I should say what I don't like is, is, like, when, uh, right there, he goes with the quick knife thrust and whatnot, and that's all cool, but when you come in behind him, it's, like, a three-second takedown where someone can shoot you in the head, but if you do a quick knife thrust, what, that's, like, half a second, one second, and like so even if someone shot at him you still get the melee kill in so I don't like that the melee kills are like uh, are different uh, times to execute because you know you know you can just push square you should kill them and they should all be the same time uh, because you can take your knife and stab them in the back of the neck and they're gonna be dead and that would be the same effect okay in the back of the head you know whatnot you guys know what I'm saying and so yeah I'm not really sure what happens here I was confused by that one guy that is kind of frozen there and whatnot but you know not a lot of good stuff's happening this game so far but I assure you it's gonna get better starting now and bam, there we go. The enemy 
I'm like, cover me, guys. And this guy's like, hack him, hack him. I'm like, man, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. Why don't you cover me? <laughs> and you see that they do that. I kill him. And we get our first data hack, everyone. Woo! And I, I was like, I was telling everyone, I was like, man, I got the field computer. I'm ready for this, guys. He's like, okay, okay, that sounds good, sounds good. And I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I know. I know. Uh, you know, teamwork. Teamwork points, you know, decide the match. So getting those data hacks in are very important. Plus it makes them spawn at their, uh, their spawn. Makes them spawn at their spawn. So, you know, it's just good to get the data hacks in when you can. Oh, yeah. Still rocking my uh, second tier weapons. Uh, I thought there was a guy in here somewhere, but apparently not. There's everyone over here, and I'm like trying to be like, ah, what should I do? What should I do? Oh, that's what I should do. Haha. <laughs> and I get another data hack. Ooh. Eat it. <laughs> Oh man, I'm loving it. So, yep. We got two dead hacks so far, and then I see this guy on my radar way off by himself, and I'm like, okay, I got the easy number three here. So I'm just being pretty careful and whatnot. And I'm pretty sure he's not not facing me, I get the detected and I don't know if he wasn't playing or whatnot. I'm like, okay, whatever. Get the data hack. Kill him. I'm like, man, there's still this camera. Like, Where is it? And of course, I'm like, oh. Uh-huh, there it is. <laughs> Alright, get a nice another 150. Get the intel assist one after another. After another. So like, I probably get what, three data hacks, six people on the team, so that's 15, so like 10 at least, so that's about 3,000 experience points from Intel Assist's game, so that's always nice and cool, uh, along with my, you know, sensors and whatnot. You can see we're basically pushed up on them, we got 29 to 7 teamwork advantage on them, I pretty much know we got this game won. And I think this is where I go back to my organized gameplay a little bit more. I'm just gonna hold down this place. We're pushed up on their spawn. There's really nothing special we need to do to win this game. So yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's see. When I upload this, it will be my first day of uh, you know being off. So I'm hopefully to get ah hopefully hopefully. Uh, I will get my uh, stuff out more. Uh, single player, gotta wrap up some single player gameplays. Hopefully, get Ghost Recon, you know, mostly done. I think there's 12 missions, just judging by the challenge thing. Like, there was three rows of four for the missions. So, I'm assuming that I only got four more left to do, and I can probably knock that out and get those up for you guys. Um, Hopefully by the end of this week. Um, I know I've been really slow. I've been doing a lot of people and whatnot. So hopefully you know I can turn that around. We'll see though. We will see. And uh, yeah. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you guys have checked out Zucrita. Because we got more stuff going up right now. We got a lot of directors. A lot of content. A lot of varied content. Check out all the hubs. Uh, we got the MMO. We got Adventure. We got Lock and Load. Um, and so yeah, we got Modern Warfare 3. We got Battlefield 3. We got my Ghost Recon video up there. So y'all go check that out. Uh, I'll put a link down to the uh, main hub in the description. And then you can check out all the other hubs on the other channel section of the main hubs feed. So yeah, really hope that uh, you all check that out. 
give a like and give a subscribe there. Uh, plenty of good content coming your way. A lot of varied content, like I said. So something for everyone, I hope. And yeah. I uh, really hope you check that out. And you can see there, I get my Uplay plus 30. So woohoo! So yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Give a like and give a subscribe. And I'll bring you some more Ghost Recon. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.